Hi everyone, my name is Fatima Loasho and I'm your beautiful host for the 66 pod. This is our first episode and I would like to welcome everyone to this podcast where we're going to be talking about different topics that affect us as young Christians in our community. And on today's episode, I would like to introduce some of my guests. I have Jesse, Lisa and Elle on today's episode. And before um, they get to introduce themselves, I'd just like to say you guys look beautiful. Thank you, you too. Thank, Thank you for amazing. being here. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Um, how was your week, everyone? Okay, I had the most exhaustive week. Um, you know how Nigeria can be generally, so get great. So, um, but I'm grateful to God for strength. Every other day, I'm just praying that please, I need to get past through this Naira Wahala, all of the madness that there is. But yeah. we thank God for everything and standing strong. So, hallelujah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, not to sound like I'm copying everyone, but I've had a long week myself. It's been really stressful. I have loads of deadlines to meet up with but um, I mean in the middle of all the chaos and all the stress you can still see God moving and I think that's such a beautiful thing so yeah I'm, I'm just I'm grateful that's really oh. good my week was okay um, had a lot of work to do but I'm really grateful I'm really happy to be here with you guys yeah so yeah. just rounding up the week with amazing people Aww. I'm very excited <laughs> So today we're going to be talking about breakfast, you know, all of us want chop breakfast one way or the other. All right. you know, we've, we've chopped different, like different types. And before we get into the scripture, we'd just like to, you know, just talk about a little bit of what we understand about breakfast ourselves. You know, what breakfast have you chopped this week? That's really... Does it have to be this week? In recent time. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I, I feel like I want to say, but I don't want to go into details because oh, the people, mm, they, they could be watching and stuff. So I don't, but like I've had friendship breakfast recently. Hey. Mama, you hold me down for like weeks. I was, I was really down. So I can, I, I mean, that's friendship. So I can imagine people in like marriages and relationships, mm. it, it, it'll just be tough because it was really tough for me and i'm type to always say uh, why do people do therapy what well, does it work what's the point someone just talks to you but I, f- I feel like i needed something like that for that period nice. and yeah how about you lisa mine is a bit i mean it's all breakfast at the end of the day so i was looking forward to an email this week and i got your breakfast hey. yeah lisa for that to your application oh. um that's been rejected basically so oh. i just you know, i'm moving on I don't think we can tell anybody how to deal with pain. Mm-hmm. That's the truth. You know, people deal with pain differently. differently. Yeah, so we have so rest in peace. Anyways. Amen. Um, Amen. Breakfast. Well, I don't chop breakfast recently, but I feel like the breakfast needed to happen for me to see the brighter side of things, you know. Um, and so I'll use that to also get into our today's scripture so we then, you know, talk and yeah. see how. So um, I'm reading from Proverbs 16, oh, okay. um, verse 1 to 3. And it says, To humans belong the plans of the heart, but to the Lord comes proper answers of the tongue. All a person says, all a person's way seems to be pure to them, but motives are weighed by the by the Lord. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will establish your plans. So from that, like, I understand how we as human beings we want our way, like all the time yeah, in everything yeah. we want our way, yeah. and I find it hard myself to commit to God's plan because sometimes it doesn't make sense or like it looks really long, it looks really mm-hmm. hard, it looks like it's not cool quote unquote you yeah. know so like what did you guys get from that scripture and you know how is it like following god's plans you know 
so far in your lives recently? I'll start with Jeremy. Jess. I like that. Okay. Let go, let go. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. Hashtag. Yeah. That's going to be the label. Let go, let go. Let go, let go. Let go. <laughs> Yeah, so burn your thoughts from that. So if you remember Jeremiah 29 verse 11, for I know the thoughts and plans I have toward you, they are not of e- they are of good and not of evil yeah. mm. to give you an expected end. So at the end of the day, you will get your expected end. So just that the means to it might not be your way. And that's one thing that you need to like come to terms with. Mm. It doesn't actually have to go your way. You're a Christian and Jesus saved you and all of that. That's that's that alone should tell you that the life that you live is not yours. So definitely the way you should live in, in this life is definitely not going to be your ways. Yeah. So when things now decide to go la balu and then you're like, what am I supposed to do? That's when you should just realign. I'm like, okay, hi dad, what's up? What's happening here? But I do have something to say to what you just said, right? Okay. And I'm just like, so what's my purpose if my life is not my own? <laughs> like, what's <laughs> the entirety of it? Because I don't understand it genuinely. Like, okay. I'm beginning to understand that, you know, we're here for a purpose and yeah. our life is for God. Yeah. But like people that are not Christians yeah. or people that are struggling in their faith, yeah. I think they will find that statement very hard to understand. So if you can like shed more light on how we as Christians or incoming Christians or people that are just struggling with their faith, yeah. how can they get to a point of understanding that their life is not their own? That's a very hard one because looking at um, the way life generally is, mm-hmm. you see your Dangote, for instance, you say he's not a Christian, but then he's getting all of the money that you want. Mm-hmm. You say you see your um, your secular musicians and they're getting everything that they want. And at the end of the day, they're like, God did this, God did that. And then you're in your corner, you're wondering, what happened to me? Mm. But of God, I mean, Christ saved me and all of that stuff. Um, I may not have like a very direct, answer to that but what works for me is is the fact that you know when the bible says um abide in me and abide in you mm-hmm. i've come to realization that if i don't own my birth there's no way i can own my death oh, that's interesting yeah so definitely somebody is in the order of the things that should happen to me as a christian okay. so now that i have decided to give my life to christ and i have been saved i can just realign at the, at the end of the day you find out that you are actually working in purpose Maybe the purpose for, for God for me is not to be the Danguti mm-hmm. or to be the this, to be the that. I don't know what the interactions with God is. Mm-hmm. I'll rather focus on what it is I have to do with him. And now that I've decided to understand it that way, it just makes sense for me to just align. Like, just align. So in terms of confusion, I'm more at peace because I'm like, there's a God who understands tomorrow. So just yeah. align. Preacher, preacher, yeah. preacher. <laughs> I, I agree with yeah. I love that. Lisa. And I, I think there's a verse, I'm not very good at putting the numbers, the verse is in my head, but there's a verse in the Bible that says, all things work together yeah, for good, good yeah. for those that love God and are called mm-hmm. to his purpose. And well, thank you. Sorry, thank you, Pastor. Oh, right off, Pastor. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, when it says that, it's easy to look at it like, oh, mm. those that are called to his purpose, you want to think, oh, pastors, or, but no, it's literally his children, those that he calls his sons, yeah. and we, are, we, are, we have son- sonship because of what, what Jesus has done on the cross, so it's literally all of us as Christians, we are called to his purpose, and loving him is now where the question is now where, okay, there's a bit of difference, do you love him enough, do you not enough, mm. do you even love him at all, okay. so yeah, it's about, I feel like I love God. I mean, I'm, it might not be perfect love, but I know I love God and I'm called to his purpose. And then he says all things. And when you say all things, it doesn't mean all good things, all sweet things. All I mean, when you say all, it means rough it's things, 16. bad things. But at the end of the day, they are going to work together for good. For good. Yeah, so I mean, 
if you're going through stuff and it's about how you see the end if you don't see it as a bad end then you you don't take it so much to heart you're not too depressed when you know that okay this is going to work out as a testimony and it's hard it's easy to say this way it's hard when you're going through it yeah but i mean all things work together for good for those that love god and are called to his purpose and that's just why i always hold on to in times like like this yeah i really like that i really really like that like um i think two weeks ago because personally like i've really been struggling because i feel like i'm in this phase in my life currently where god is trying to really remove me from my comfort zone like mm. i feel it in my soul and i was reading the story of um joseph and you see how like everything worked out for his good yeah. everything yeah. Everything. Yeah. Like, yeah. everything even what his brothers thought they were doing to him yeah. even what Potiphar's wife thought she was doing to, to him, him. Yeah. every single thing worked exactly. out for his good and like i really really just related to that and i started saying a prayer of how um i started saying an affirmation for myself on how everything is working out for yeah. my good so when yeah. something is not working in the way that i want i'm just saying it's, it's, it's working, working out for, for my good, good. Yeah. 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 yes genuinely like i really like what everybody said and that's super 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 amazing so um how but what about um breakfast that we serve god because we've talked about you know the one we have felt from god what about yeah. the one we serve god you know how, by sinning by disappointing <laughs> oh, <laughs> <more. laughs> yeah. so what is how, how do you show how do you deal with that personally <laughs> yes, I agree. I agree. Mm. <laughs> what a big. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, I like that. So in speaking about breakfast, I think if maybe God has a list of people that is doing breakfast, I'll top that list and try. <laughs> or if there's somebody, you'll be so, oh, or if there's somebody that is there, I'll contend to be the first mm. because we are together. On I that naturally list. I'm very stubborn, mm. so you can get where somebody is telling you do this and you're like I'm going to do it, and you look the person there and say I'm not going to do it. So the comfort for me for me is even the Christian journey is that the love of God is abundant. So he knows you're going to do it eventually. And then he's just waiting. Okay, when you're done, you come, come back, back home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just do what you want to do. When you're yeah. done, you will come back home. <laughs> well, so, but, although there's a caveat to that, because whenever we understand that the mercy of God is available for us, that's where we now intend to sin more. Mm. So if you remember when Apostle Paul said, have we been given grace so that sin might abound exactly. no so it is case in point is a scenario that um maybe your dad me family now yeah and then you know your dad does not like this thing and you are doing it mm. he's condoning it and you're doing it are you truly his child mm. well it doesn't change my dna now we have <laughs> i mean it doesn't yeah. change it but you know that your dad does not like this thing but you continuously and continuously i'm talking about it when you've been an adult I mean, sometimes you probably question whether you are truly his child. Mm. And that's the same thing we do with God sometimes. Because the fact that I've given you room to just be messy and then I'll come and hug you, doesn't mean you should be behaving like... If you're a true son, you should be able to listen to okay. everything that he's telling you to do. I mean, it's it's it's, 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 a, it's a long road. I think that's a tough one. I have, <laughs> I have, I have, a, I have a question That's, that's what extremely she just tough. And okay. I, think, I, think, I think there's a Bible passage again. Maybe you know the verse this time, but it's it's one that says if, if our <laughs> wow. earthly fathers can love us... Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. I'm saying you probably know it now. So you, you corrected me the last time, so <laughs> you have in your... <laughs> but yeah, it says um, if our earthly fathers... It compares our earthly love of our earthly fathers to the love of God and just tells us that they are not even close to each other and then we're talking about god that knows you that knows the number of hair on your head and everything i think 
I'm not trying to condone anything, but I think it's easier for God to even take our breakfast now for us to take his own because he knows that this is my child. <laughs> you know, yeah, but we, we exp- this is God. I've prayed. There are things that you pray for and you believe so much. And then the breakfast comes and um, a warm breakfast and it's just hard to take. Yes. But God knows us. God knows the future. God knows everything. God created us. It's easier for him to deal with our breakfast. And then when you say, um, I, I don't think the breakfast will serve him is enough to i know you weren't you weren't even saying it as intensely as i'm about to say but it's not enough to question our sonship in any way i think being oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah i think right. being being confident in the fact that it doesn't matter what it doesn't matter how far i go god is always going to love me he's always going to want me. i think that's like such a huge essence in in our yes. faith that we should yeah uh, yeah, yeah and knowing that this isn't correct yeah. but it doesn't it doesn't it, it's not big enough i think it's even insulting to think whatever you do is big enough to make god hate oh, oh just just yeah. to correct that i didn't mean it from the point of oh, all the things that you do because i mean they are prostitutes arm robbers kidnappers mm. so when mm. they now say they want to give their life to christ god will not say oh you did something 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 some, some. mm. no my point is when we when we are in that relationship yeah. and we know the things that we have to do because at the end of the day it's for our good yeah following god is yeah. for our good yeah, so definitely. when we know the things that we have to do as christians and we're literally trying to struggle with the sin and everything I mean, that's where the holy spirit comes in mm. let us try to always be open to such a leader i mean i'm speaking yeah. to myself here yeah. because in as much as he's ready to receive you but he needs you also to grow you yeah. will not grow in this yeah. yeah so he needs you also to grow too so yeah. we string and continuously string and continuously string is actually a strain on us at the end of the day because yeah, yeah true it yeah. doesn't affect him in any way yeah, yeah. Agree, that's yeah. that's the angle i was yeah. taking it from yeah i agree with you which is what i think we're now on the same page i agree that it's yeah. even more it's even more of a detriment to us, to us. than yeah. to god, than to when, god you're, yeah, yeah. when you're not aligned to his so purpose so exactly. just replace and just put somebody else in yeah and, and, already and okay yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Not those kind it's like, of it's like a typical family. There are kids in the family yeah. that are too stubborn. There are those that are calm. And then they get different kinds of reward, mm. in quotes, mm-hmm. from the parents. Because they know that ah, this one can handle this kind of... You know, I can send this one to boarding school and they'll be fine. Mm. This one, I have to be seeing this one two o'clock every, every day. <laughs> <laughs> you get so, yeah, I feel like that's how it is. How much you grow and how much you succeed in mm. Christ depends on... To an extent, depends on, you know, how open you are to his leading and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Actually, you get benefits from that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It takes me back to the story of Joseph that I talked about, you know, how I was watching it as a visual, because I'm a visual learner, okay. and then I watch, I decided to watch the movie so that I would see what is different from what is in the Bible, and, you know, I, I wanted to see from a point of view of what are, what are we as people showing in the media compared to what is in the Bible? Yeah. So I decided to watch the movie first and then I went back to the Bible to like compare. compare. Yes, and then I saw how like most of Abraham's um, problem with his son was the fact that they were not listening. They were not obedient. They were not, you know, Joseph was majorly the one that was listening to him, that was obeying him. Even the ones that he was sent to be, um, to protect the sheep so yeah. you see that they would even kill the sheep and sometimes eat within the mist and just Jacob. be just just yeah yeah it was just really really yeah. um disturbing so sorry i meant jacob sorry sorry forgive me oh, <laughs> <laughs> cool. so yes I w- my, my question for lisa with what you said was so do you think that um obedience is sacrifice why does that sound like a Bible passage? <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. I saw the quote recently, you know. You know, I saw the quote. And it wasn't a Bible verse. It wasn't a Bible verse, it was a quote. Sounds like you know, something. Sounds like a Bible verse. It's sacrifice. Sounds like I mean, what is a sacrifice program. though? Giving up something for something. And giving up your disobedience. Mm. I, I, I don't think it's always a sacrifice. A sacrifice. Because sometimes you don't even really have to give up something. Sometimes you just have to you, you're lost and you just have to follow what god says to follow in that case you're not really sacrificing because you don't you didn't even have a path 
to start with how about if you actually had an idea of what to do mm. but you heard him say something about that situation and then you decided to give it up i mean give it away yeah so then that's a sacrifice but i'm just saying i feel like it's not always like obedience is not always sacrifice sometimes it is because you have to give up like abraham go on um sacrifice, go and sacrifice your, that is you have child. to give up your child that is sacrifice you know and then there are times when it's like um what, what would i use ah this is random but like john's father was zachariah Z- john the baptist was it zachariah? zachariah yeah zachariah you're going to give birth you're going to have a child and zachariah not believing or not no necess- no accepting that leading that's that's not sacrifice that's not like sacrifice but that's also disobedience to an extent or i don't know something there are people that have been given instructions that just don't follow them mm-hmm. and that's disobedience but that's not necessarily because they had something to gain that would have been from like disbelief so sometimes yeah. it's about belief it could be disbelief it could be disobedience mm-hmm. So yeah. I think I also go with his analogy that obedience is sacrifice because I say it a lot of times that left to me if mm. I'm to do the things that me I want <laughs> to do uh, is I'll not sacrifice them, like yeah. I wouldn't care about what the next person would feel or yeah. think or yeah. so I feel like I I sacrifice you know those little pretty things just to make sure that I'm not offending anybody or I'm not offending even myself you know I'm trying my best to obey so that I would always know that there's a bigger reward ahead for this you know little considerations that I'm making and just leading so yes um I don't really have much to say anymore so I would just like for us to just end the pod with just you know us talking about nitty gritty things on how we can do better moving forward you know how we can do better in dealing with these breakfasts, obeying better, um, being better Christians in our community. So I'll start with L. You know, what can we do <laughs> moving forward? <laughs> what can we do moving um, forward? Yeah, I think I think I think that verse that I spoke about has really helped me a lot. And this is in terms of um, breakfast from God when you expect so much and then you don't. I think dealing with it for me is just knowing that all good and perfect things are from God. Yeah, I, nice. I, I don't think God God doesn't use evil or bad things as a tool to train his children. That's yeah. not the kind of father we have. So when things are going wrong, I know at the end of the day, all things work all together, together for good. As I know I love God. I know I'm called to his purpose. So it's it's tough. It's tougher than just saying it, but I hold on to that verse a lot. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming for this episode. Thank I really, really appreciate me. it. And I hope to see you guys soon on the 66 pod. Mm, Thank definitely. you, everybody, for listening to in today's episode. Have a great week ahead and see you next week. Bye. <laughs>